EViews 9 adds a variety of new graphing features, and we're going to demonstrate a few of them in this video. EViews has always offered a vast range of custom options for its graphs, but there are always more features that can be added. One of the most frequently requested features in recent years has been an extension to the range of mixed type graphs. EViews 9 answers these requests by giving full flexibility in the type and number of charts available in mixed type graphs. As an example, we'll look at a graph of some US quarterly macro data from 2005 to 2014. We will create a group object containing consumption, GDP, government expenditure, exports, imports, and the unemployment rate. Clicking on View, Graph, creates a simple line graph of the series. But if we wish to produce a more interesting graph, we can change the display to view different types of graph for each series. We do this by bringing up the Graph Options dialog again and changing the basic type to Mixed. We then use the Mixed Settings node to decide which type of graph we want to use for each series in the group. We use a stacked bar for consumption and government expenditure. Even though those two series are not adjacent to the group, EViews knows how to handle them in stacked bar form. We'll change GDP so that it uses a spike graph and leave the other series as lines. One of the problems with this graph though is that all of the series are in billions of dollars other than the employment rate which is in percentage. We need to use a different scaling method for unemployment. We can do this by switching to the data scaling node of the graph options dialog and then switching the unump series to use the right hand scale. We'll also check the overlap scales button. Freezing the graph into a graph object allows us to demonstrate another new feature in eViews 9, the ability to draw items on a graph that are tied to data points rather than fixed in position. To illustrate, we will add an arrow and a circle to the graph highlighting the start of the recession. Once we have placed the arrow, we can double click on it to add text, and specify that we want the arrow head to be attached to a specific data point. Similarly for the circle, we can double click to specify we want the circle to be fixed to a specific axis. We'll use the right axis in this case. We'll make a second arrow without checking the specific data point checkbox to see the difference. Now as we scroll the graph, the first arrow and the circle remain tied to data points. The second arrow remains in a fixed position on the graph. Another new graphing feature is the ability to scroll through individual graphs on a multi-graph display. Here we have a panel work file containing data on US states contribution to domestic product from 2010 to 2013. EViews allows you to graph a single panel series as a set of individual cross-section graphs using the panel option settings on the graph dialog. Unfortunately, this results in 51 small graphs that can be tricky to see properly. EViews 9 alleviates this problem somewhat by allowing you to select the graphs and then create a carousel of the selected graphs, zooming in on each one, one at a time. You can move through the graphs using the mouse, or using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Clicking the little icon in the bottom left takes us back to the view of all of the graphs. Of course we didn't have to select all of the graphs, we could use a subset to add to the carousel.